Pompeii, Italy, 79 AD. At approximately 1 p.m. on a peaceful late summer day, this ancient Roman city in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius is shaken by a massive volcanic eruption. Within minutes, superheated gas and lava engulf the city and its surroundings. In an instant, thousands of people are buried alive as a city that was once their home suddenly becomes their tomb. Nearly 2,000 years after the eruption, Pompeii is a city that remains frozen in time. This eruption was what we call a pyroclastic eruption, where clouds of, of ash and debris, hundreds of degrees hot, came flowing down the mountain, flash flying everything in its path. And miraculously, the heat of this cloud was enough to carbonize and preserve rather than destroy all kinds of information. We have well-preserved architecture, wood and organic materials, foodstuffs, human remains, animal remains that have been preserved for 2,000 years beneath uh, this volcanic debris. Today, the excavated ruins of Pompeii offer archaeologists and tourists a breathtaking look at the doomed ancient city. Perhaps the most intriguing discovery found beneath the ash from Mount Vesuvius's eruption was an ancient Roman structure located not far from Pompeii, known as the Villa dei Papyri. The Villa dei Papyri was a Roman luxury villa that was full of sculpture and marble and bronze. The villa was discovered by chance in 1750 by well diggers who tunneling about 75 feet through volcanic debris first hit a colored marble floor with an amazing pattern made up of bright red and yellow marbles. And we think this was once the vacation home of a Roman senator of the highest rank of an old noble family named Lucius Calpurnius Piso. The volcanic ash that buried Villa de Papyri did not only preserve the physical structure, it also entombed a library that contained more than 1,800 papyrus scrolls. These scrolls are an extraordinary record of the thoughts and writings of people who lived nearly 2,000 years ago. Those texts were discovered when the city was excavated and some of the artifacts were first found. The people who discovered them didn't know what they were. They thought that maybe they were pieces of branches or logs because they were rolled up and carbonized until someone finally realized these are texts on papyrus. The Villa dei Papyri library is significant because it's the only surviving library from antiquity with its contents. There were scrolls found that date to the third, second, and first century BC in the first century AD. About 300 of them or so have been unscrolled and they contain mostly philosophic texts. Some poetry, some literary criticism, a little bit of history, but many of the scrolls are so tightly bound together and carbonized that there's been a moratorium on attempts to open them. Fear of damaging the scrolls has left many of them virtually untouched for over a hundred years. But new technology has presented a potential opportunity to read these mysterious ancient texts. Scientists in the computer science department at the University of Kentucky have developed a new method known as virtual unwrapping which uses a sophisticated x-ray machine to scan the scrolls without damaging them. The virtual unwrapping that we innovated basically allows a 360 degree set of views to be collected from an object that rotates in front of an x-ray beam. This is a real scroll that's 2,000 years old and in cross section, see there's, there's damage, there are parts that are missing, sections that are broken. 
now we're using our software for the second step, which is to trace these wraps all the way through so that we can build a 3D model that lets us flatten that out and then read the text that's on it. And once we're done, we've achieved this image that's on the left, which is the final completely unwrapped version. This is a quote from Democritus, who was an early Greek philosopher and is very well known for having postulated with others that materials are made of atoms. I think it's remarkable that 2,000 years ago, Greek philosophers were postulating what we now know is true from science. Thus far, the team has been able to digitally scan two complete scrolls and a number of fragments. They hope that in the future, technology will advance and allow them to reveal even more. But what secrets might be contained in those 2,000-year-old scrolls? One exciting possibility that has been suggested is that the original letters written by Jesus' apostle Paul could have been kept within the library of Villa de Papyri. The Villa of the Papyri was entombed about 40 to 50 years after the death of Jesus. At this time, the original apostles are now out doing their mission work in various parts of the Mediterranean. So it's entirely likely that the Villa of the Papyri could have a collection of copies of Paul's letters. If the letters from the Apostle Paul circulated and found its way into the collection, such a discovery would represent the earliest Christian material that we have, almost dating back to the time of Christ and the disciples. Being able to use these techniques to understand history in a way that's almost forensic is gonna bring surprising things forward and we're gonna be revealing more secrets than we'd ever imagined before.